I always say the ride never ends. And that's because we, despite the fact that we had a big win this morning with Helldivers and Sony back uh, pedaling and giving their apology to gamers, uh, it looks like this was just in the case of this game. So it looks like Sony now uh, took the stance that, hey, because this game was sold without this, maybe we need to not do it for this particular game. We're just going to punt our initiative going forward, and we're going to require all these people to sign up for these PlayStation Network accounts at this point uh, with another game. And we're going to get into the news in just a moment. This is crazy. Ugh, I, 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 it's It all happens so fast. You, you really just like can't even sit and savor a victory for a moment, but we're going to have to come back at it again and demand this kind of thing stop, and demand that players stop being treated like pay pigs, demand that gamers stop being treated like we're uh, just data mining operations for these companies, and get, make it so that these companies care about games again. That's really what matters. They care about entertainment. I care about your entertainment too, and I hope uh, you are entertained by my videos. And if you like what I'm saying, and you like kind of the way I uh, talk about things, and uh, and you might like my fiction, this is The Stars Entwined. It's the Orishan War trilogy. I've got a full trilogy out there, so don't sleep on the sequels either. Uh, it's on audiobook, it's on ebook and print, uh, any way you like it, I can provide this for you. We're going to be writing some new stories coming out of this universe very, very soon. I just outlined one this weekend, and I would love for you to get on board, check things out, support the channel, support our books, much better than PlayStation, independent stuff right here. And gosh, I'd love to make video games eventually, but uh, one step at a time, my friends. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting the channel. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe while you're here as well. Uh, it does mean the world to us uh, to build this community, and we're going to build a community of gamers that actually uh, changes things uh, and actually makes changes. We had one win today, so we can do things. We can band together, but uh, we do need to get this word out here of uh, what's happening now. This is called Ghost of Tsushima. The multiplayer will require a PlayStation Network sign-in on PC. Here we go. They're back at it. This is this is less than a day. It's only, it's only posted at 9 p.m. last night. Pacific time, that uh, they're going to be removing the Helldivers requirement, and everybody's celebrating. I was celebrating, and then this pops up on Kotaku this morning. Uh, Sucker Punch confirmed this in the midst of a larger Helldivers 2 controversy. Wow. So Sucker Punch's open-world samurai game, Ghost of Tsushima, is getting a Steam port this month, and it will require a PlayStation Network account to access the multiplayer mode. Now, it's, it might be hard uh, to get this one going and get people uh, riled up about this. I think what happened with Helldivers was gamers were really upset because they bought the game under one condition, and then those conditions changed, and then they weren't even going to be allowed to play the game they already paid for. And I think Sony is going to just rely on that uh, in this instance and not actually see the, the real problem, which is the requirement to sign up for their little data mining operation as a problem. Uh, there's a reason people play on Steam or play play on their PCs, play uh, different things, and they're not on PlayStation. Uh, they don't want to be trapped on that, and they want to have their own like kind of independent operation. And when they're forced into these corporate situations anyway, it's a real, real problem. Uh, that is that is the main problem. It's 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 also very bad when you do sell something and bait and switch consumers, of course. Uh, but this this is all a monopolistic tendency uh, by these these companies that just want to force you into their systems. And uh, this needs to stop. I, I hope we can gain a little traction on this one as well uh, when uh, when people find out about it. Now, uh, this is it. They announced it was a grace period for the beloved multiplayer game Helldivers 2. It was over. Steam users would have to sign up and keep playing it. Uh, they thought they'd be safe, and then th that was it. Uh, and now, of course, they've reversed that decision on Helldivers 2. But this is crazy, too. Uh, so here it is. It's coming to PC on May 16th. And uh, some are already hesitant to buy Sony games whatsoever on the Steam storefront. And they should be. Uh, that's absolutely true. Sucker Punch posts this. Uh, this is odd. It doesn't read like a Kotaku article. Usually they're like, gamers just deal with it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, this is not written by Alyssa Mercante, though. Uh, so Sucker Punch posted a tweet promoting the PC version. And a user responded claiming they canceled their pre-order because of Sony's policy. This is good. I want more of this stuff uh, right here. They said, thank you for your feedback. Just so you're aware, a PSN account is required for Legends Online Multiplayer Mode and to use PlayStation Overlay. It's not required for the single-player game. So this, this unlike Helldivers 2, which is a fully multiplayer game, uh, you can play the single-player game without it. Ugh, so you get half the game. That kind of sucks. <laughs> you really do. So uh, that that's something that, uh, again, I, I hope players will push back on in general. 
This happened on Friday, May 3rd, two days before the Helldivers uh, Arrowhead Studios reversed its policy. Uh, what's unclear is will it follow suit or if Sony will make the requirement from the outset rather than adding it months later. The backlash was because it was added after the fact. I don't think so. That's what Kotaku says. I think the backlash was people just don't want to sign up. Uh, I, I know it's a combo of both, so it's hard to separate the two. But uh, I, I still think this is a bad thing. It's bad for gamers. It's bad for everybody who's trying to just play on PCs. And it's just these companies showing their like complete egos enforcing you into their little systems once again. So spread the word on this. Uh, let people know because I don't know that this is going to get out there as quickly as the Helldiver situation did. It's going to be on us. I mean, we did this last time with Helldivers. We did it with Stellar Blade. Uh, and this is another bad practice. And we need to push further. You know, we, we, we got the win with Helldivers because uh, it was an after-the-fact requirement. Uh, but we need to get the win all the way around and tell Sony to knock this off. This is not something that if they just do it from the outset, it makes it okay. It's not. All right, leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.